Hi everyone, welcome to our live stream. My friend Kim is here today to help us make some fabric tumblers. Um, we're gonna be using the Crystal Act glitter glue and just some random fabrics that we have to put on our tumblers. These are easy and a fun way to kind of bring new patterns to your cups. So as always, um, let me know in the chat if you're here, if you can hear me, and where you're watching from. And I will talk about all of the supplies that we will use. Kim is here. She's never made a tumbler before. Never. Never ever, but she watches all the streams, so she's uh, she knows her stuff. She knows her stuff. Um, I'm excited for tonight. Hi, Judy, Rhonda, Jessica, Jacqueline, Yasmin. Everybody's saying hi to Kim. I know. Hi, guys. <laughs> this is so nice. <laughs> Yeah, so she was a surprise with my setup. There's a lot going on over here. Maybe one day I'll do like a tour or something. I think you need um, like a behind the scenes. There's a lot everywhere. <laughs> um, Jacqueline's from Wisconsin. Well, we're right in Illinois, so pretty close. Um, Teresa. Hi, Kelsey. Hi, Kelsey. <laughs> Lori, Megan, lots of people on tonight. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I lost my mouse. Um, Colorado, Texas, Arizona. All right, so I have a few different tumblers that I have prepped and base coated. Now, I will say that I just, these are just tumblers that I had. Like, this is brown, not because I needed it brown, but because <laughs> I was going to do something with it, and then I didn't. So, like, it, it's just sitting here. But you will see I'm using skinny straight tumblers. Um, which means that they don't have that taper, right? They're straight down. If you've never done a fabric tumbler before or thinking about doing more or whatever, doing a straight is just easier because it's uniform all the way around. So similar to the vinyl that we were doing the last two weeks, it's kind of the same way. So let me know in the chat if you've done fabric tumblers before or if you're thinking about doing them. Lots of people here today. Hi, Brenda, Judy. Hi, oh, my Jamie. mom's here. Hi, mom. <laughs> Sally's here. Yay. Carmen, Nancy from Canada. Sylvia, hello from Texas. Jill's from Iowa. And we've got Monica from Costa Rica. How exciting. Amazing. Okay, so these are already cut pretty small. Um, but basically, I'm using 20 ounce skinny straights. These are all from Craft Haven. Um, and as always, you can use my discount code for that. Um, but when you cut your fabric, it's easier to cut it a little bit before you start. So you can see that it is a little bit longer than my cup. And when I wrap it around, it will overlap just like about an inch. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but you just, it's easiest to cut it a little bit in advance. And I'm going to show you a couple different things that we can do. And this is just regular cotton fabric like that you could get anywhere. Um, I think this, I think this one maybe was from Hobby Lobby. My friend Amy sent it to me. Um, but yeah, like anywhere, there's like a lot of Christmas fabrics out right now and so many fun ones that you can do. So th you'll see this one I actually cut already, like to be smaller. So I don't have to worry about cutting it afterwards. I'm just going to put it on like this. Um, so that's one thing you can do as well if you wanted to. Um, sometimes it's a little easier. This one overlaps like way more than necessary, but that's fine. It's fine. Um, okay, let's see. Never done one. Hi from Montana. Carmen's first time watching live. Glad you're here. Jamie tried it. Didn't come out great. Jill had trouble with the seams. Hi, Becky. Hi, Becky. PJ wants to do one. Oh, my um, dad's here. He had surgery today. Oh, Hi, Dad. Okay. Hope you're feeling great. <laughs> um, Eileen did one following my other tutorial. And, okay, great. So, they're actually very, very easy. And I have a couple things that I would recommend. You can use, like, a regular craft knife, like exacto knife. But I think it's kind of hard. Because um, you're going to have to cut through the fabric. And I just, I don't do very well with that. But I do like using my rotary cutter like this. You can get it like Joann's or Michael's or wherever you can buy fabric. It's meant to cut fabric. And 
it just works a little bit better. Um, I think you can get it on Amazon as well. I think that's where I got this one. Um, it just works a lot better. So if you can, I already had it because I sew. I don't know if you guys know that about me, but I sew, so I already had this. But um, you don't need it, a craft knife will be fine, or you can cut it ahead of time. So when you're cutting your fabric, you wanna measure your tumbler, okay? I just use like a regular old measuring tape. And you want it to be a little bit longer. Well, it depends. If you're going to cut it ahead of time, you can measure like this 20 ounce tumbler, like seven and a half inches is pretty good if you want to cut it ahead of time. Or if you want it a little bit longer, you can cut it about eight and a half and then you can trim it down later. And then all the way around is, they're all pretty standard, but it's about like nine and a half. So like I would cut it like 10, 10 and a half um, in a rectangle. Okay, so eight by ten and a half ish. It doesn't have to be perfect. These ones are not cut yet, so we're gonna trim it down just a little bit. These are just like scraps. Oh, your sweaters are ugly. Yes, yeah, so we got a Grinch <laughs> says all your sweaters are ugly. And then when you cut it, like you do kind of want to think about like, I want a Grinch face, right? And I want this. So when I do this, like I want to cut, um, you know what I mean? Does that so, make sense? Yeah. Like, so, so I can like get the on. face and the whatever. So, like, I'm going to cut a little bit. I'm just going to use this. Actually, I'm going to get my mat. <laughs> I got a cutting mat. It's all dirty from with Bright Tone, but um, this is how I use my rotary cutter. You can just use scissors. Like, you don't have to, like, be as fancy as I am. I just have all of the supplies. Okay, did a plaid cup and noticed it was peeling. What was peeling exactly? So it just cuts through the fabric really easily. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, okay, I've done one, it came out okay. Yes, the uh, Teresa doesn't like how the patterns don't come out evenly and we will talk about that. And I'm not even like, I don't care if it's that straight or not. Like, I know the top edge and the bottom edge are straight, so I'm not that concerned. So you just cut it down in a rectangle. And then maybe you could use, like, if you have any other scraps, you can use it, like, for a pen. Like a matching tumbler pen situation. That'd be a um, cute gift. be a really cute gift. Yeah. Um, and the fabric tumblers are easy. Like, it's, even if you don't put glitter on it, we can talk about that later, like, You'll get it done quickly. So if like right now you're like, man, a matching pen pen and cup would be really good, like teacher gift or something, you could get it done. No problem. In the next couple weeks. Like it would take you a couple of days. Okay, so these are cut and then Sarah, yes, that's exactly what I was just about to say. So the other thing you can do if you don't want to um oh this one's fine. So these are fine. Um, if you want to cut it in advance, you can take a piece of paper like this or something, any piece of paper, and you can wrap it and cut it down to the size that you want. And then you can put this on your fabric and cut it from there. So you can kind of like make yourself a template. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to do a bigger tumbler, <clears throat> excuse me, um, like a 30 ounce and you had a, t like if you got one of the tapered ones, if you had a template, you could also print that or cut that on like cardstock and use that as a guide, like to do all of your cutting in advance. It can help. Okay. So we've got a couple here. And the other thing that I use, <coughs> oh, I need water. Now my uncle's here. <laughs> Tim's whole family is yeah, watching. All this is a big day. <laughs> you got to make sure you're in the camera, though. I, I'm perfect. Okay, this okay, okay. <laughs> um, so, which one do you want to do? I like this cheetah one. Okay, you do that one. Okay. And then here's this. Okay. So I'm going to show Kim what to do, and then she's going to do it, okay? It can get a little sticky. Okay. I should have gotten you gloves. 
We're going to use the Crystalac Glitter Glue, and it works a lot better <coughs> than Mod Podge, okay? One, Mod Podge and Crystalac Bright Tone do not get along, okay? So just avoid it. And it takes forever to dry. You're going to need like six to eight coats of Bright Tone to, or no, six to eight coats of Mod Podge to um, cover that. But the glitter glue, you only need a couple of coats and it only takes two hours to dry. So you can get it done really fast. So the way I'm gonna do it, you have options, but basically... <coughs> Hi, Aunt Nanny. <laughs> oh, P. Wells wants to know how he can, or she can ask you questions. Um, you can reach out, message me on Instagram. It's probably the best way to get a hold of me. Leslie is here, and I think I saw Sue got here. Um, she's been, she's five days with her grandkids. No crafting. That's, well, that's okay. I'm sure the grandkids are cute and you are tired because it's probably <laughs> exhausting. I only know that because I'm with my own kids every day. <laughs> okay, so... I'm trying to line this one up because this one actually has kind of like this pattern. So I have to be a little bit more careful. Um, but basically what I'm going to do is just squirt out my glitter glue and brush it out. You don't need a lot, but like don't be shy with it because it's going to soak into a lot of the fabric. So do you feel it when you like put the fabric down? You feel it on that. So then, one? yeah, you can like kind of feel. Except for I think I wanted it the other way. Because you want the grinch yep. on there. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna do this. I'll turn it over and try to keep it lined up. But you don't have to keep like you can hold it like. You you could always like redo it. It's not as challenging as like the vinyl. Like if you were gonna do vinyl and peeling all that up like. This, you just peel it back and add more glue. It is super, super easy. And you want to make sure that you're like rubbing it smooth so you don't have any bubbles. And then I'm going to bring this around. I'm going to add a little bit more over here because I don't know if I really got it over here. Pretty good. Wow. It's good enough. Yeah. So you just want it to be nice and smooth and you can feel it with your hands. Like if there are any pockets of air, you don't want that because that's going to be a problem. Okay. So then the other thing I do is I cut the seam right away. So to help kind of get it to stick a little bit, I'll put some glue on the inside. Put this down and I'm going to cut right here where they overlap. Okay. So this is where you can decide. You can use your craft knife and go through. It takes me like a whole lot of time. Yeah. Like it just, I'm not good at, I'm not good at it. So the rotary cutter seems to be better, but it's okay if you have to like go through it multiple times. Like nobody's watching, like you're watching me do this, but like nobody's watching you <laughs> do it, you know, like. Nobody cares if, if it takes you a while. So I'm just going to cut through both. Hopefully it's a little more challenging because of the top and the bottom. So maybe you want to do like a little combo. And the top piece comes off usually pretty easily. Okay, this one, it's a little tough, like, when you get past the cup, you know, like, and you don't have the pressure. But then you can pull this back, and ideally, you went through both pieces of fabric, and this will come right off as well. But I never do. Like, I always have to try again which is fine. 
Just do your best. So it doesn't like ruin the cup if you cut the blade on it? Um, no. And we're gonna cover it anyway, so mm. like sometimes it'll like scratch. Um, this is dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it'll scratch the uh, like the paint, but we're about to cover it anyway. So then if you do it that way, if you do it where they overlap, then your seams come together and you won't see your base paint underneath it. So then you just need a little bit more glue and we're gonna clean up some of these edges. So because I just peeled this back, I just need a little bit more glue. No worries. Don't, don't worry about like using too much in this scenario. And then if you have any like fray pieces, take some scissors or your knife to cut them because they're gonna add bulk to your seam and that just makes it harder to get it smooth. Do we have any of those scissors? Sometimes scissors are easier. Although these are crappy scissors, but. Okay, and then right away, I will put a whole nother coat on the outside. And then we let it dry. Again, you don't have to be shy. It's gonna, most of it's gonna soak into your fabric. <laughs> and then I will get to your questions. And we'll see how Kim does. She's gonna be great. Everybody tell her she's gonna be great. I'm just trying to remember the steps. Well, that's what I'm here for. I'll walk you through it. <laughs> What do you do with like the part that's extra on the bottom? I will show you in one minute. That is a great question. <laughs> okay, so then this will dry like this um, for two hours. Sometimes if you feel like you put like a lot, a lot of glue on there, you might want to do like longer, but it really only needs to dry for two hours. And then we're going to do another coat. So we're going to actually do two more coats. So you'll have this coat on top, let it dry for two hours, do a second coat, let it dry for two hours, and then do a third coat. And then, so then I have this cup edging tool. So once it's dry, you can put this around your cup and trim the edges. That's pretty cool. So there's a blade on here and you can change like how thick or how thin you want it. Um, and you can trim off the edges. It was really easy. I mean, it's, <laughs> you say it's really easy. Look, it's hard to mess up. Everything's fixable. That's what I like to say. Everything's okay. fixable. I like the attitude, right? Yeah. <laughs> and if it's not like, if it's just a tumbler, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> okay. So, um, okay, sorry, I'm gonna read your comments. Okay. Oh, Christine, this is my friend Kim. This is my friend Kim. Hi, Christine. You guys, should Christine come do one? She lives close too. Yeah. Um, okay, so, hold on. I'm gonna go back, I missed a lot of comments. Okay. Sarah, yes, thank you for sharing. Any tips you guys have? I love when you guys chat with each other. Um, yeah, Mod Podge takes forever to dry. That's why I much prefer the glitter glue, plus it's way stickier. Um, okay. I do cut the seam. Yeah, I cut the seam right away. And then um, I will wipe this. I don't know, really? but I don't have any issues with it, but you can always wipe with um, alcohol if you're feeling like your tools have glue on them. Um, rubbing alcohol helps get everything off. Um, Julia and Yasmin are gonna go get fabric tomorrow. So, all right, they're ready. Yeah. Um, 
Teresa asks, can you speed the drying time by heating it? No, you do not want to heat your Crystallite products. It, it's two hours um, and it'll be completely dry. Um, where do you get your sandpaper? Either from the Crystallite company or just at the hardware store. Any one that you have close. Um, okay, is this the same process with fa scrapbook paper? Yes, it's basically the exact same process as scrapbook paper. Um, you just have to be a little bit more careful with scrapbook paper because you can't like take it off and put it back on because it can rip a lot easier than fabric. Okay. Okay. You ready? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. You're going to be great. Okay, I have my brush. You have your brush. I have my tumbler. You have your tumbler. And, and this one you have to be as careful because like it's not it gonna line matter. up like it's all random so I can okay. just like start it anywhere mm-hmm okay okay hold on I can't see okay oh. here we go okay. <laughs> there's all this computer stuff um okay so first I put some on not a lot but I don't have to be stingy. Right. And then I just brush it. But I only brush it, then I put on some of it, and then I keep brushing more on, or I brush the whole cup and glue. I would do, like, half of it, and then you can kind of put the fabric on and then get the other and half. Get the other you know half. what I mean? Okay. okay. Jessica says she's mass prepping today, so maybe she'll do some fabric shopping tomorrow. So, yeah, you can get fabric from anywhere, and you can use, like, the, um, I'm just using, like, regular cotton knit fabric. You can get, like, some of the stretchier kinds. Um, just, what if I didn't put it on straight? <laughs> <laughs> I might not have cut it straight. No, that was a user issue. Like, the, you can use stretchy fabric, too. Okay, it's so great. I go like this, mm -hmm. but I don't want air bubbles. Right. So then and I saw an air bubble. You're doing great. Okay. <laughs> you're doing really good. And then I, I would like flip like, it around yeah. and add some glue because you maybe only got glue to like Is that here. why that's bumping yeah. like that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here I go. Be careful because so it's kind of spraying around everywhere. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Yasmin says to other people she wished she had someone in the area to craft with. I think once this COVID situation is a little more behind us, we should have a craft retreat. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I think we should do it. I feel great about it. Okay. I don't remember where you put your brush when I, I usually definitely put it in water. didn't hold it for you. I usually so. put it in water, but... <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Oh, so yes. I'm Christine gets her... Fabric from I think Tumblr cuts, but Christine, yes, share your link and your coupon code because I started that sentence and then didn't finish it. You can get fabric online, Etsy. Um, a lot of online places have like smaller cuts that would be meant for tumblers, but if you get it like Joann's or anywhere in store, you can use any fabric that you can find. But like, if you want to order it online from like Joann's, you have to get like two yards, which unless you're gonna sew something, that's like oh, that's a lot of fabric. I put more here, right? Yes. Where Like kind of falling off, I feel like. Am I not putting enough glue? No, it's okay. It you just it just okay. has to dry. So like it it'll be fine. Are there bubbles? How does it feel? Feels I think great. <laughs> I'm sure it's great. You test out my It's perfect. Okay. Okay, so then we're gonna cut the seam. The seam. I'm gonna Ready? use your rotary blade. Yeah. And this is where the seam is, right? Right, so you wanna cut so in just the somewhere middle. in the middle. Okay. Anywhere. It doesn't even have to be like straight, but you gotta press like this. Yeah. And Does, then roll. Should I start like at the top? Doesn't matter. Okay. You can like hear it. Like you can hear yeah. it. It's fine. Definitely not straight. <laughs> It's doing great. <laughs> okay, and now I use the scissors to do the end. Yeah, let's see like, how you did. You did pretty good, though. Did I? 
Yeah, see like most of that came off. There's just like a little piece right here. You can actually take the rotary cutter and just kind of cut that spot again. And it should come off. And then I just have like, well, yeah, you can use scissors, that's fine. Cause like I didn't really cut that. Yeah, much. you can use scissors. These are really crappy. If I could get my actual sewing scissors, that'd be easy. I should cut through both layers, right? Yeah. Okay. These are a little better if they don't work. And then up here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the top layer came off. Okay. Zoom craft. We should do is we can do a zoom craft. Okay, craft retreat is a uh, is a big hit. Okay. <laughs> but we could do a virtual one. We could do a virtual one. Okay. So now I have to cut through Oh, right. Pull this I back. Feel it back. Okay. Do I have to know where it lines up? Where this It'll is, line right? back up again. Okay, if you insist. But so then here, like most of this already cut, look. Yeah, but look at how. Oh. See, you did pretty good. Wow. Okay. So then you just need to cut where you didn't get. Melissa says she sews a lot and have a lot of scraps. Yes, it's perfect if you have scraps or like if you know somebody that sews, reach out to them because. They probably have plenty of fabric you can use. And even check, like, Facebook Marketplace. Um, people sell fabric there, too, if you're, like, just want to get some random pieces. Okay. Okay, now I need more. Who time. wants to Zoom craft? Send me a PM on Instagram. Okay, Jessica. Jessica's on it. She's setting it up. You're my friend that sews. Yes, I am your friend that sews. Allison <laughs> I has used fixed all of, a lot of I used problems. all of my scraps to make masks. Like Yeah. In the beginning. When, in the beginning. And I sent them to like nurses and stuff. Yeah. Um But yeah, Kim has come over on occasion on the way to weddings <laughs> for me to sew something on her dress. I had a jumpsuit and it like split the back like had a split on my butt and luckily the wedding I had to pass Allison's house to get to the wedding, so she just <laughs> sewed it for me, and it was life-saving. Okay, it's like... Okay, it's great. Now, just put your hand in there. You're going to add more. Here, do, well, maybe I will... No, it's fine. I can get, right? like, a, a stick. If you would no, rather. I don't care. Okay, so then Does you're going to do... That's not like it'll... No, it's fine. Okay. We're going to probably cover it anyway. Oh, okay, great. So then you're going to do more glue more. around the whole outside. Christine, yes, you can do half, you could do like half of the cup fabric, these splits, stripes, like anything that you would do with vinyl, maybe you could do with fabric. Um, Jessica, that's fine. Let's chat about, we'll chat about it. I pay for a Zoom because of the Academy, so. Um, so then... So this, if you count this as your first coat of glitter glue. There's a little. We got stray glitter. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you count this as your first coat of glitter glue, I will do three total on top. So in two hours, you can do your second coat. And then at two hours later, you can do your third coat. And then you will do your bright tone. Um, it depends on if you're planning to add glitter to your tumbler. Then you might need a little bit more. But... Usually about like six or so, you'll have your cup, your fabric covered. Oh, man. It's okay. We'll fix it. I don't know if I got the hole. It's great. It's perfect. That's why we do multiple coats. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. See? It's perfect. How do I do, everybody? It's perfect. And this is um, a, to a paper towel holder from the Dollar Tree. Oh, I have it's extra. perfect. Can I give it to you? Yay, Kim. Everybody <laughs> say yay to Kim. I got glue all over the place. There. Here. Let me help you. You want to wipe your fingers. No, I meant like on your rotary Oh, cutter. that's fine. But you still, you should wipe your fingers. <laughs> it's very, um, it's very sticky. It is very sticky. Okay. Do you, so anyway, if you put glitter on, you might need a few more coats of bright tone, but if it's just fabric and you're not going to add any glitter, um, usually about six. Um, 
You can get fat quarters, yes, at Walmart or even Joann's has really cute ones too. Um, if you glitter, are you sanding only the glitter parts, similar to the vinyl wrap? Yes. Look, everybody says I know. Good. You guys are very nice. Thank <laughs> you. This is so fun because I always watch Allison's live and comment, but it's fun to see how she sees it. It's different, huh? It's very different. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So, anyway, if you add glitter, which maybe we could add some glitter. Should we do glitter now? Yes. We don't need to do another one of these. That's fine. We'll save the, I'll save my Disney princess castle for another time. Um, so this one I did earlier and this one I actually cut ahead of time. Oh, that, that was the one thing about this. If you did it, cut it ahead of time, then you wouldn't have to trim the edges. So like, I don't know, it's one less thing for you to worry about. Like yeah. if you were to cut it small, but once it dries, you can, um, use the cup edging tool to edge the glitter or the fabric and I have a tutorial on my channel um, with a fabric tumbler that goes into that process um, but if you make sure you follow me on Instagram because I can post it there as well I have a question about that yeah so what if you're using that if you're doing it how we just did it and then you use that edging tool is that gonna get it just at the like bottom of here or can you do it in do you know what I mean? Like to leave room for glitter. It will cut like however big you want it. So this one is pretty small at the moment. Uh -huh. Oh, but you can adjust but, like, where that there's, is. There's like different oh, washers cool. on here that I can put underneath it. So you can like make it taller or smaller, however yeah. you want it. That's cool. Um, which is nice. Okay. Do you use glitter glue on the vinyl wraps? I do not. Not on the vinyl. But I did, the last two weeks did vinyl wraps live, so I would definitely check those out um, if you are interested in that process. So I do need to clean up some of these edges because I've got little strays. So I've got this. I need some help. Oh, we're saying bye to Christine. Why are we saying bye to Christine? Bye, Christine. Um, oh, I have to run. Bye. <laughs> I, like, um, I missed that. So let me know what color glitter should I put on the edges here? What do you guys think? We'll see if I pulled some. Yeah. But I want to, I want to see what you guys have to say. It, oh, Judy asked a really good question. Judy asked, is it considered copyright issue if you're using fabric? Yes, it is. So if you buy the fabric from Joann's, you will see on like the salvage that it will say for personal use only. A lot of times, so if you're buying from somebody like a Tumblr cut like on Etsy or something, you're not seeing that because they cut it off, you know? So you're not allowed to sell the items um, with that on there. But then there's like this whole thing without getting into it called the first sale doctrine. It was like this court thing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just think it's funny because you have answers to literally every question. <laughs> like it's not like, oh, I don't know. I'll check on that. No, you already know. And you know about the doctrine. And yeah. <laughs> um, the first sale doctrine like is like a little bit of a gray area that it might be okay to sell. But the problem is like if you are using like Disney or like Mickey Mouse, Tumblr or Harry Potter, like you're using those words and that the likeness of Disney or NFL or whatever, their company. So like it's still a problem. So it's just best to avoid selling them. People do it. People do it. You'll see people online selling it, but it's just best to avoid Okay, we've got green, green, pink, dark pink, green, or pink, or pink. Okay, well, <laughs> that's good because those are what we that's pulled. what we pulled out. <laughs> um, okay, so oh, my niece is watching. She calls me Uncle. I was Kimmy. like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> my niece, <laughs> she has like one aunt, and it's my sister-in-law. Everybody else is uncle. I love that. Yeah. Hi, Scarlett. Hi, Scarlett. <laughs> 
Becky wants to um, know. Are your hands sticky? Well, can, why are you asking? Because I'm continuing to do Yeah, it is a little sticky, but like kind of the one? fun kind where you can peel it, you know? <laughs> I know you used to put glue on your hands and just peel it off. Yeah. Um, here's another one. If you no, need. I'm okay. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> mine, mine are all sticky. Okay, so what do we think? Do we think we got two I greens? I have to put it with this so everybody yeah. can see. We've got the this sage green that I use all the time. Uh, we've got like a darker green. We pull the Jacqueline, green. this light green glitter is called Savvy Sage from Glitter Heart Company. I've got this gold that I thought might work. I don't know. And then this is the only pink that was like yeah, we went through a lot of pink, but it wasn't yeah this one's called rose what do you guys think I um, kind of feel like the pink is like a lot of pink yeah you know it's like too much pink yeah what do we think guys so then also you guys when you're doing your bright tone layers um if your center seam isn't like perfect you can sand like just over the seam like you don't have to sand everywhere you can just sand over the seam similar to like the way we do vinyl and stuff sage on top green Whoa. on the bottom dark green one of the greens one Whoa. of the greens dark green dark green dark green she was suggesting two different colors i don't think colors. i can do that okay we can't do it i'm so sorry <laughs> turns out that's not an option <laughs> Yes, we try. I don't have the right orange, but I do think okay. orange would have been good. There's a lot of dark green votes, it looks like. I kind of agree. Okay. I think that this one's a little too light. Like, not the right yeah, color Yeah, it's not green. the right tone or something. And okay. this one, I think, is And then, you know what? This will be better because this is brown, and, like, any lighter color might, show might be an yeah. issue. Okay, so I'm going to tape this down. You don't have we to need, tape. Or we don't. I'm just going to use bright tone. Yes! So I'm going to tape the edge of my fabric just so I can, I don't know, try to keep it <laughs> um, semi-straight here. Um, you can, I did not see your comment about cheat glitter, but if you wanted to use cheat glitter, you absolutely could use cheat glitter. That's totally up to you. If you want it to be a little sparkly over your fabric, um... Feel free to, you can do whatever you want. It's your cup. Sorry, Lainey. <laughs> Is Lainey the one who wanted to do two colors? I think so. <laughs> not a bad idea. It's totally not. It's not personal. It was not a bad idea. I just think I was feeling the same way. Like that light green, might, like, it's my favorite. You guys, I've used it on like every live stream that yeah, I've done. Yeah, there's a lot, yeah. But, um, okay. So you can use, actually, since we have the brushes and the glitter glue, we're going to use glitter glue. So we're not using bright tone? We're not going to use any bright tone today. Kim is a little disappointed. Hey, hey let's quiz Kim. Ready, you oh, guys? Oh, shoot. Let's quiz her. <laughs> if you do a coat of bright tone, how long do you have to wait before you can do another one? Four hours. See? I learned this all from Allison Crafts. <laughs> okay. What is cheat glitter? Becky wants to know, and so do I. Cheat glitter is... Like a white kind of see-through glitter. Oh. So you will be able to see the fabric underneath it, but it will be sparkly. So it's like kind of translucent. Yes. Okay. And then like different ones, like this is a cheat glitter. Um, this is three different colored blue paints with all of the same oh, glitter on top. Oh, I see. So whatever you have underneath it will show through. So the ombre on that is just paint and yes. the glitter is the same on yes. the whole thing. I mm -hmm. see. That's cool. Yeah. So, you when do you add it? Um, you can either add it with glitter glue or with bright tone later. Um, if you are going to do like a different glitter on the edges, you might want to do it later. But there's no like one way to do it, right? You can, you won't mess it up if you do it a different way. So, I'm going to use bright, or I'm going to use glitter glue. Which I don't normally do to apply my glitter. I use too much. I feel like I should have made Kim do this. I feel like we should be using bright tone. 
Kim's like, you use Bright Tone every time. I was like, because at first we maybe weren't even going to do glitter. And I was right. like, whoa, I'm coming out alive and you're not going to use glitter or Bright Tone. I feel like this is very strange. Can you open this for me? Yeah, I sure can. <laughs> um, is Bright Tone the same as the Triple Thick? No. Triple Thick is um, kind of like Mod Podge. It's not um, water resistant. It's not scratch resistant. So um, triple thick is like used for like sealing like artwork that'll just be like sitting on the wall or something that nobody's gonna like touch or drop it won't or be smooth. yeah, and it won't be smooth. So definitely um, not the same. Looks good. Yeah. Do you want to do the other side? Sure do. Did I have to put, <laughs> I you have to put glue? On. Yeah. You might not even need to dip it. Do you want me to okay, hold this no. for you? <laughs> yes, please. And then you want to try to get it like as smooth as you can. The glue? Yeah. Okay. So like that. Yeah. Perfect. Can you mix a little glitter in the bright tone? Lainey asks. Yes, you absolutely can. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's perfect. That's what you said about my fabric seam. And... It was great. The fabric's perfect. Okay, here we go. I just don't want like all of it to come off. It's okay. We'll put it back in if it does. It's like my personal cup turner. You. Yeah. You are. Who needs a cup turner? We have a person. <laughs> See, it takes a lot of concentration. It really does. <laughs> Whoops, that was a lot. Oh, okay, so back to the mixing the glitter in the bright tone. You can. Um, I've done it several times. I would use like a super thin, like what they would call like an epoxy additive. Kim, that's perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> and now we put the rest back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is also a little scary. <laughs> um, anyway, you can use like an epoxy additive, but it, it won't be like fully smooth. So like don't make that your last coat. If you're going to mix in glitter in the bright tone, you're going to need some more layers of bright tone on top, but you absolutely can. Um, okay. It looks awesome with the brown undertone. Yeah, I didn't even really like think about it, but I'm going to take the tape off just for fun. You could let it dry first if you want, but that looks good. Look at that. I'm really happy with the color choice. Yeah. So then you can like kind of seal it and keep going with your bright tone as normal. That's really <gasps> pretty. This is really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you can sand like just over the glitter so like to help even out the oh so the, the glitter is like thicker than the fabric so like do bright tone all over the tumbler but then only sand on the glitter portions and then you'll get to a smoother one faster um okay <laughs> min wax polycrylic similar to bright tone um similar as in like a McDouble is similar to <laughs> a steak, <laughs> right? It's just low quality. Um, it'll yellow over time. Don't use it. You don't want it. It's not water resistant. I can show you my daughter's um, dresser upstairs. It is yellow. Um, okay, I made a plaid cup with Mod Podge while waiting on my crystal act and it dried a week or more. My cup is peeling now. Um, Mod Podge, did you have a base coat? Because Mod Podge is not meant to stick to metal. So you want to have a base coat down. And once you get your Crystal Light products, I highly recommend switching Universal over. Universal White. Yeah, Universal White coat. is your base coat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then using glitter glue to do your plaid. Lainey just found my YouTube channel yesterday. Welcome, um, Lainey. Yay. Okay, well, Lainey, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out on... Um, Instagram, or I go live here every Monday, so you can always hop on and ask here too. 
You know you use glitter too, glitter too much when you use the same technique to glitter a cup as you do to season whatever you're cooking. Yes. <laughs> um, we have Chicago accents. Do we? <laughs> Julie is from the area. She doesn't live here oh. anymore, but she used to. Around really close. Julie, I can't remember exactly where I forgot now, but I do know I remember. Um, okay, dark green looks great. Do you have any bright tone on the tumbler? I have no bright tone on here yet. There's just glitter glue on the fabric. And I will just probably do glitter glue um, over the whole cup just to seal in the glitter. And to just do one more on the fabric because they only have one on there. And then... Um, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and then I'll do bright tone. You guys, my friend Kelsey has this really great Instagram. Yeah, you guys should follow her. It's called Fast Food Findings. Fast Food Findings. If you're into fast food and you like to hear about the latest news in the fast food world, yeah, you should the, totally, yeah. totally follow Kelsey. Definitely. Oh, yeah, she was in Huntley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, great. Okay, do you guys have any other questions? I think we did pretty good. I'm very stuck. The bonus about glitter glue is it only takes two hours to dry, so you can move through your fabric tumblers really quickly versus Mod Podge when you'd have to wait days and days and days and days for it to dry. It's just too much. Any other questions? Your live has convinced me to make a fabric tumbler. See? Wow. And you guys, it's so easy. Can it was, it? I've never made any sort of tumbler before, and it, it's doable. She did really good. <laughs> Can you use glitter glue over this now before the bright tone? Yes, I will definitely put glitter glue on this to seal in my glitter because I don't want it to um, spread around. Um, the other ones, ooh, it's going to stick <laughs> There we go. The other ones, I will trim the edges first. So I'll let this dry, um, and then I will trim the edges before I do any glitter. Um, but then, yeah, should we do gold on that one? That would look cool. good. I think gold yeah, on that one. Yeah, I think gold. Um, and so I'll seal with glitter glue, and then I'll move into bright tone, just like any other tumbler. Um, Dolly missed the fabric application. That's okay. Right after this, um, it will be up for you to watch. And there will be there will be. And we've got multiple. We did two of them. That the thing, the start, stop, so you can watch and you can. Oh, you the timestamps. I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the timestamps. <laughs> um, where I'll break I break up the video into sections so you can like search for where it says, um, adding fabric. Um, what do you recommend for finishing fabric tumblers for boys? Honestly, oh, um, you could just leave it with vinyl or you can leave it with your paint. Like have whatever your base coat is. Like this one was brown. So I probably like, but if I had a black base, like you could just leave it or you could do like a strip of vinyl if you wanted to. Um, or both, right? You could do like paint and then a, a small strip of vinyl to add something else if you wanted. Um, did you gas off 48 hours on your spray paint? Yes. Spray paint always needs to, um, dry for 48 hours. Are there any discount codes to buy Crystal Eye products? Not right now. They just did a sale like last week. So I don't know when there will be another one. But you can use the link underneath this video if you want to support the channel. Crystalac Food Safe, is there anything to worry about with your mouth touching the cup? No, there is not. It is completely non-toxic and passes all, all the things it needs to pass to be um, food safe. Will the same process work for fabric, V-split, or piece designs? Yeah, totally. You can do whatever you want. Um, I would do the fabric... You don't have to necessarily tape it off. I think it really depends on the design of the tumbler, though. Like, if you wanted to tape it to, like, help you cut where you wanted your fabric, you could do that. Or you could do the fabric, you could tape it, and then cut it and peel off the rest. So advanced. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
can you do a tour of your craft room sometime? Yes, Jacqueline, I can. It's just my basement. <laughs> it's nothing fancy, but... <laughs> but there's a lot of there's stuff lot you guys can't stuff. see, and it's cool. I did make a video um, about organizing that has a little bit of it in there. But you yeah. can like I've got glitter see. back here. <laughs> I've got my sublimation stuff back here. 3D printers. She's got like six printers yeah. and so much <laughs> of a lot of stuff. <laughs> then there's a couch and a projector with my TV over there. <laughs> what do you do when the fabric pattern doesn't match up? Okay, so if you wanted to, so this seam is right here, and this seam actually looks fine to me. Like it doesn't bother me that the way it looks. But if if you were bothered here, you could do a couple things. You could put like a strip of vinyl over it. A lot of people do that. Like just cut like a rectangle and put it down the middle. Um, Cause I don't know, people like to do that. Or you could even glitter. So like where I have this um, like green glitter, I could also like kind of tape off and do a strip of green glitter down here too. Hmm. So it would kind of cover up the seam if you don't like the seam, um, but also still be like cohesive with your tumbler. Or does that make sense? You could like, you could do a lot of things. You could also put like the decal there to like cover it up. Like if you want to put somebody's name so you can't really see it. Um, you have lots of options. But I think mostly like even this one, I feel like isn't that bad. Well, yeah. Like it doesn't line up perfectly, but it's not like to me like oh my gosh I have to cover that up. To me, if you put a thing of vinyl across it, it would call more attention to the seam than how it is right now. Yeah. So. And this kind of lined up. It actually did. Not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I got lucky though. I got lucky. Um, what are you sealing with before bright tone? Glitter glue. I use the Chris Light glitter glue. How do you do a clear cast? decal like you can print on clear sticker paper or you can buy clear stickers um depends on what you're trying to do so next week we're gonna do maybe a part two maybe we'll maybe next week we can i can save these i can show you how to trim the edges um i'll get the other ones smooth and glittered or we can do something else completely something else if there's anything you want to see Make sure you let me know. What do you want to see, Kim? <laughs> She's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, there's like so many things that I want to do. So if you, if there's anything specific style-wise that you want to see that we could do live next week, um, let me know. Like, how do you make clear? I'm not 100% sure about that question. Maybe you can message me on Instagram and we can figure that out together. All right. So I will see you back here next week. Happy Monday. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful part two, week. Please. They want and a part two. we will do a part two next week. We'll just do some more fabric. I think we'll finish up these cups that we have here. Um, and maybe between now and then you guys could start a fabric tumbler. So then if you have questions, you could ask them then too. That's a good idea. All right. I hope you have a wonderful evening and we'll see you next week. Oh, another Milky Way? Yes, I could totally do another Milky Way. Bye. Everybody say bye to Kim. Say thanks <laughs> bye. for coming. Thanks, thanks for, for having coming. me, everybody. <laughs> oh, peekaboo, Tumblr with pictures. Ooh. Whoa. I could do wow. that. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>